There is a dark side to this. And that there is another, there are other sides to this. And that we are going to be in the position of making choices that to some extent, as we come into a very complex contact with these, this presence, as it focuses in our lives, to some extent we will be able to control. Uh, when I was a young man, I met a Kabbalist who was, uh, had worked in Poland before World War II, where people who were knowledgeable about Kabbalah know that there were incredible achievements in terms of coming into contact with higher levels of consciousness and being and living beings that were immensely potent and marvelous. And the tendency, she said, and she warned me, she already knew apparently what would happen in my whole life. And she said, you will, you will have this and you must never forget our experience because we pushed the dark side away. We ignored the dark side and suddenly it came bursting across the, what river was it? The, uh, not the Vistula, but anyway, bursting into Poland in these terrible men in black uniforms and covered with armor. And it destroyed everything. It destroyed the whole Kabbalah. It destroyed everything we had worked for. The bridge we had built to heaven was torn down by the Nazis and everyone went up in smoke. Don't ignore the dark side. And so what I've done is, I do, I give part of my effort to the dark side. That's this comic that he referred to. It's a comic for a reason. Uh, there's a, a jokiness in there somewhere, but it's a very dark comic about a very real and terrifying aspect of this phenomenon, which is human mutilation, which those of us who study this, we know darn well it happens from time to time, quite certainly. But does it, is it done by all of 